I may or may not have dribbled marshmallow juice over the side of your bin. I have a new enemy! This week's new enemy is losing. For the last few weeks, I've been working abroad and I've been playing a lot of sports with the boys that I've been away with and I have lost at pretty much every sport I have been playing. However, I intend to turn this losing streak around today by beating this man, Mr. Peter Bucknell. Do you think that I'm going to be the overall winner today or do you think you shall be crowned champion? I know I'm gonna be the winner. See, that's the confidence that I need when I'm on the court, when I'm in the football pitch, going, I'm gonna be the winner. Instead I go, ah, uh, kickball! Oh no, when it comes to football, I will lose. Like, hands down, you should have put that in the challenges. Then you would have won. No, it'd just be two people just <laughs> dribbling. And I don't even mean dribbling no. a lot, I mean actual <laughs> just dribbling. So, skill of one to ten, how confident are you that you should be crowned victor? I was gonna say I'm a solid eight, but I'm gonna go for a seven and a three quarters. That's like a quiet confidence. I think yeah. seven three quarters is kind of like saying, like, genuinely I'm an eight and a half, but I wanna spare your feelings. <laughs> In all honesty, I genuinely think my chance of winning are six, so already I'm losing. The first challenge that we're going to have today is going to be playing right into your hands. This is going to be something I like to call the Disney Kazoo Challenge. I'm going to kazoo three songs that are from Disney films, mm -hmm. and you've got to tell me what they are. <laughs> You could even brat one. That was my favourite. <laughs> what song was that? When you wish upon a star. Very good. That's what's bothering me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it wrong. The <laughs> You smashed the Disney challenge, so now you have got one point because that all adds up to. Well, not necessarily actually, because I could draw and we'd have to have like some sort of like. No, we'd both get a point. You've got a solid point. I'm not messing How much with the point. Have you done not, this? not enough. <laughs> I would like three songs now. Okay, then I will give you three songs. Great. <laughs> I know for a fact that the Chee Boppers are like screaming the answer. <laughs> and I'm going to have to pass. It's Reindeers Are Better Than People from Frozen. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. Akuna Matata. I just harmonized with the kazoo. That's one, I got one. Something, 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 and covered in something, it's Winnie the Pooh. I really thought I knew more words to that than I do. <laughs> covered in something. I got two out of three, you got three out of three. That means that you win the Disney kazoo round. Woo! Now we're moving into one called What Am I Drinking? Pete is going to close his eyes, I'm going to present him with a drink. He has to guess what it is. It's totally drinkable. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not okay. something that shouldn't be consumed by humans. Am I allowed to smell it first? Yeah, you can smell it. The Oki Tombra. <laughs> Oki Tombra! That's, that should be the name of our band. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Horlicks? Like kind of milky bar? I'm going to accept this answer. Oh really? Yes. That was white hot chocolate, but from the fridge. It's not milky bar, but it is white chocolate, which is what a milky bar is. You've definitely got a point there. Now, I feel really bad. That was nice. Oh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> I know that smell. It's a herb. <laughs> the problem is, the more I smell it, the more it just tastes like. The more it smells like vomit. What on earth is this? Is it white wine and thyme? Oh, you're so close. Am I? I'll give you it. It's white wine and pesto. It's basil that I'm tasting, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Not time. So we both get points there. Yeah. So now you are winning by two challenges to one. So many of you requested this challenge that we had no choice but to do it. This is, of course, Chubby Bunny. Have you played Chubby Bunny before? Never played it before. I had okay. to look up what it was. Are you going to start or shall I? It's your channel. I think you should start. Thank you very much. How kind of you. 
Chubby bunny. 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 You're still singing very clearly. So we're on four each. Yeah. Chubby bunny. 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 Is this nine, ten? I don't know. Chubby bunny. My favorite thing is a. <laughs> Everybody does. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Good job. Chubby bunny. I feel like you're approaching your limit. <laughs> Chubby bunny. <laughs> you have won because it's now three to one. And even oh. if I win the third challenge, you you are the winner. The final challenge for today yep. is a dance competition. We're going to do a dance challenge, and the other person has got to pick the style of the music to dance to. We won't be judging this, this will be left up to the good people of the internet cool. to judge. Would you like to dance first or second? I would like to go second. You can go second? And would you like to pick a genre of music for me to dance to? Thrash metal. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Are you ready? I was born ready. Johnny Vickers, dance to thrash metal. I think I did quite terribly there in that all I did was kind of thrash my head around. That's what you do with thrash metal then. I think I know what I'd like you to do. I would like you to dance to Bossa Nova. <laughs> Are you ready to dance to some Bossa Nova tunage? I think I am. How do you feel your bossa nova dancing went? It was all a blur, to be honest. I honestly don't know how people dance to bossa nova. So I, <laughs> I don't hope know. it's that. I hope it's how I did it. If it's not that, it absolutely should be. That's the end of the challenges. You've already won. How confident are you that you're going to win the dance challenge? I'm confident you're going to win the dance challenge. <laughs> This is of course an Ari Books Night Cause video, so we of course need a book recommendation. Let's create a space for the power of editing to put a book in there. Pete, what is your book recommendation? My book recommendation is a book I read in school called Of Mice and Men. Oh, such a good book! It's a good book, right? The most like heartwarmingly heartbreaking story. That's almost everything for this week. Thank you as always for tuning in. This week in the syllabub, we want to know who you thought did the best dance. It was Pete, but don't let that influence you. Why am I recommending you win? <laughs> Keep your book recommendations and silly questions coming in, and as always, put your comments, ramblings, and musings in the syllabub. Also, don't forget to check out Pete's channel. We're about to film a video for that channel, which I'm already confident will be all very good, so do check out his channel. This week's silly question comes from Alma Books, and she asked, if you were a pizza, what type would you be? Would you be spicy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> would you be cheesy? Yeah. Would you be crusty? Yes. Meaty peaty pizza. Meaty peaty. Meaty peaty pizza. How I want to eat ya. Why did we do that in the improv song challenge? <laughs> Next week, I'm hoping I have picked up some sort of a tan, but it's still very unlikely. Bye. Oh. I can see the target. Good work, Vickers. Whatever you do, don't let us see you. Okay, boss. You got it. I'm moving in. I can hear you, Johnny. Don't. Oh.